what's going on guys tanasha gaming here bringing you a live reaction to chapter 969 of one piece uh quite frankly i missed the last chapter but i just couldn't wait to read it i had to read it you know off stream off camera but that was a really good chapter i kind of regret not reading it live uh odin uh if we do remember correctly let me just uh go over that real quick we had the beginning of the chapter was odin or actually no it started off with roger if i do remember correctly uh yeah we found out about the fact that you know shanks was sad roger did not name the one piece um you know everybody was going through odin's monologue saying that they didn't cry and it turns out everybody was crying um you know we kept going we got to finally go back to o back to wano with odin and we saw that Lady Toki um, welcomed him with, you know, uh, Momonosuke and Lady Hiori. But that's when, you know, everybody broke the news to him that Wano's in big trouble. And he found out that they attacked um, his, they attacked Odin's wife. So he didn't like that. He ran straight over to, um, you know, the, uh, oh my gosh, what's the... The Shogun, the Shogun leader. And he was like, yep, no, that's it. It's time to Orochi. That's all right, Orochi. They went over to Orochi, and he just decided that he's going to pull his sword out and, you know, possibly kill him. And that's how the chapter ended. So we didn't get a break. We're back. We're live. It's chapter 969. Cover page starts off with uh, Beige. And we've got a Gotti versus the Navy. Gotti getting his, uh, his uh, face kicked in. Um, it kind of looks like, I don't know who that is, who that Navy member is. Um, but you know, they're still in dress rosa, it looks like. So, uh, it doesn't seem that we're getting too much of a story on that. Um, but the chapter is called Fool of a Lord. So, all right, let's see what happened. All right. So Odin's coming straight after Orochi. Wait, no Odin, don't do it. He got his wife if you get angry over something trivial like this the enemy will strike back again odin screaming orochi orochi crying it looks you see a slice something got cut you got an old man playing the instrument in the back odin slices straight through the wall it looks like flinging Orochi over into the, the corner of the room. You've got a whole bunch of people uh, scattering, trying to get away. Orochi's still alive. He goes, what was that? What is this? He's slicing them up, slicing them up. Nothing's happening. Is it glass? Doesn't seem to be. Get out of here, Orochi. And you got the, the instrument, the Biwa, playing. Priest. Kurozumi, or Kurozumi, Semimaru. There's nothing to worry about, Master Orochi. Have faith in the barrier, barrier arts. Oh, the original Bartolomeo fruit owner. This barrier will resist any attempt to breach it. Your strength means nothing here, Odin. The old hag is still here. And not uh, Orochi. Okay, okay. So let's see what happens. Kill, kill, kill. That's right. If you are a pirate, you should be aware of the supernatural powers conferred by a devil fruit. You have powers then. That's right. As they say here, we are sorcery users. And, you know, you got Orochi laughing. If this was a problem anger and violence could solve Odin, then all the daimyos of Wano would have done it already. But nobody can kill me. Oh, I, I, I do not like this guy. I do not like this guy. All right. Did you see that? Lord Odin rushed the castle. The rightful heir of the Kazuki clan has returned. Yippee will have a new shogun at last. I'm sure he'll drive out Kaido, too. He'll kick out Orochi. You got everybody celebrating in Wano. Lord Odin, Lord Odin. I don't know why it happened, but I hear that my father pushed you to be the Shogun's proxy, but only until I came back. 
So give up the Shogun's seat to me right now. I had no intention of being the man in charge, but I know that I can do better for this country than you. Hmm. Okay, okay. So he's trying to man up now? Ah, but there's a twist. That sentiment did not actually contain the Shogun's authority. Ah, it is good to see, see you back, Odin. What, father? How are you alive? Oh, lordy. Thank you for the uh, for the follow. Um, but let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We'll uh, we'll get to all that stuff as soon as I uh, as soon as I'm actually finished reading it. Um, you've got the old hag laughing. What the daimyos and all the fools? Oh, you know what I should probably do? I should probably now. Nah, let's just keep reading. The daimyos and all those fools believed in was a person in disguise with the power of the clone clone fruit. Oh, so. The old hag just pretended to be um, his father. This hag, yes, it was all lies. The entire country believed it, and they all arranged for me to take the Shogun's throne. In other words, I am under no obligation to cede control to you at this point. Nobody can possibly know what the real Sukiyaki was thinking. What did you do to my father? Did he actually die of illness? He's just sitting there laughing. Uh-oh. As the crowds looked up at the castle cheering the return of the Kazuki clan, poison arrows stuck here and there as though from nowhere. You can see, yeah, the guys in the background's getting hit. Lord Odin. Two people collapsed, spitting up blood. They both fell blind. Doctor, doctor, screaming. Ooh. As the townspeople fled indoors in a state of panic, they witnessed... Amid the clouds rolling, the sight of an enormous dragon floating over the capital. He grew from wild child to daimyo of Kuri, then went to sea and traveled among the world's greatest pirates, returning many times stronger than when he'd left. Kazuki Odin returned invincible and triumphant. In him, the people saw a savior who would rescue them, from a cruel tyrant. But within a few hours, Kazuki Odin was seen stripped to his loincloth outside of Shogun Orochi's palace, dancing like a fool. And the loincloth reads, Chicken Wingstock. Hmm. Orochi and Kaido's underlings laughed and laughed. He danced and begged for spare change and finally walked away. The return of Kazuki Odin, the rightful heir of Wano, had been the country's final hope in a manner of speaking. But the people's hopes were betrayed, and their great disappointment eventually turned to anger. What's wrong with him? It's the foolish lord of Kuri. That's Kazuki Odin. His fear of snakes gave him the blues. And if you laugh, you lose. Odin appeared in the capital once a week, here he is again, to caper about in front of the castle for scraps, whether rainy or windy or snowy. Please, Lord Odin, I dance in the buff every week and receive money. That's my job. Please, tell us the truth. What did you speak about with Orochi? Why would you do this? Even the people in, of Kuri who believed in you the longest have grown sick of this. Tales of his antics in the capital reached Kuri too. It's the fool of a lord. Whatever you do, don't turn out like him. He's pathetic. Ah, oh, man, this sucks. A real samurai would rather commit seppuku than be Orochi's lapdog. After a year of this, which was 24 years before today, Odin received a newspaper from abroad, courtesy of Shogun Orochi. He ran up and down the beach wailing, then laughing, then wailing. The world was buzzing over the public execution of the, the King of the Pirates, Gold Roger. And the allure of the vast fortune he left behind, the One Piece. Sent all kinds of people. The lore of the treasure he left behind, the One Piece, sent all kinds of people out to sea on a treasure hunt. It was the start of a great age of piracy. Roger, you wonderful man, what a life. And he's just 
standing on the beach, crying, reading it, smiling. Ah. Uh, oh, look at that. We got the young gecko, Moria, looking at Kaido. In the second year since Odin's return, a battle broke out in Ringo, the gecko pirates versus the animal kingdom pirates. The grave of Ryuma, god of the blade, was ransacked at this time. All right, so we did get that covered. All throughout, Odin danced, and all who associated with Curry's foolish lord were painted with the same brush. There was, a, there was the family of laughingstock. Do you want a divorce? Is that a joke, or are you trying to make me mad? Oh, and, you know, they're all still happy. The vassals, we've been familiar with your naked dancing for years. In years, Lord Odin. And we still got Neko Mamushi in Wano, hanging out with Kawamatsu. It's nothing new to us. And those few to whom he owed a personal debt. He might be a fool, but calling him a lord is more than he deserves. Hey, you better stay away from Boss Hyogoro, fool of a lord. Stop that. Please stop in and have some tea. Oh, Hyo, Odin is here. Oh, uh, look at Boss Hyogoro when he's young. Oh, man. That damn Dorochi just won't give up. I'd never work for a man like him. Well, don't you... Well, don't put yourself in danger, Hyo. I was just telling him that your dancing's gotten so much better, Odin. Please, ma'am, spare me. Three years passed. The fool of a lord is back again. And he's dancing in the snow. The snow's a bit nippy. Four years passed and nothing changed in Wano. That Odin's so obnoxious. And we're already there. In the fifth year, the Shogun has come to Kuri. Orochi made his move on Kuri. It's Shogun Orochi. I would like to build a number of new weapon factories here, and I want your help, Odin. But Shogun, what of ships? You know, with Kaido, what do you mean? Wano will be a weapons producer. Oh, and as for Hyogro, he's beyond my means to control, so I gave him to Kaido. He'll probably be dead before long. What? His old woman clung to him and wouldn't let go, so they shot her dead. You'd figure a mobster's wife would have more self-control. And you just see the flashback of her screaming his name and Odin's like breaking. The man who controlled the underworld from the flower capital, Hyogoro the flower, was taken prisoner when his followers fought back. Give our boss back. A total of 16 died plus Hyogoro's wife. As his family and vassals are had largely assumed the great samurai had been shouldering some terrible burden all alone for five long years. And this was the last straw of his perseverance. Great big tears spilled from his eyes as the emotions he'd held back came flooding out at once. The time has come to strike down Kaido. Are we, are we actually going to see it? Are we actually going to see it in this chapter? Ugh. That's what we've been waiting for you to say all these years. Now gather around, and you shall bear witness to the once-in-a-lifetime uproar caused. What's this? By Kazuki Odin, the man for whom all of Wano wept. Oh, man, look at him. With him stood nine men made samurai through his patronage. The hour was sunset, the sun crimson red. Their foe was Kaido. Dang! They grew up. They grew up fast. They paid heed to no other. The story of their march is a thing of the past. Sadly, it ends in the public execution of Kazuki Odin. It shone like flames upon these men heading into battle and the katanas they wore at their waist burned just as brightly with life. Afterward, in reference to these red scabbards and in honor of their strength and loyalty, people called them the Akazaya Nine. And now, dear audience, let not your eyelids blink lest you miss a single moment 
of what shall be known as the hour of legends oh man next chapter yo i can't believe they're keeping it going they're really oh my gosh we're gonna get another chapter and you know if they got a whole chapter dedicated to the hour of legends we are gonna see kaido this next chapter we are gonna see the scar on his chest oh man yeah but like neko neko and inu they grew really fast it's been five years and they went from the beginning of this chapter looking like kids to really really big <sighs> the fool of a lord man so boss hyogoro lost his wife lost his men and got captured and thrown in prison. We got to see the barrier barrier fruit. We got to see the fact that the old hag actually just made it look like she was his fa Odin's father and gave Orochi lead of the country. Um, I don't know why, but I don't recognize in the panel where it says he grew from wild child to daimyo of Kuri. Who is... Is that the ninja when she was young is that really her because she's got the little she's got the little thing on her head i'm thinking that just might be her uh but she she knew okay so we know that if that is her that she knows the reason why odin went around dancing so if the if the ninja girl knows why Odin was dancing. We may not actually find that out in this flashback. She may give some like dramatic uh, panel where uh, she reveals that. But oh man, yeah, because right there she saw it, and then the next panel was uh, him dancing. But another thing is, why did those two people get shot with poison arrows? And who is that? That is. Um, you know that's sitting there with the poison arrow stuck as the crowds looked up at the castle cheering the re the return of the kazuki clan poison arrows struck here and there as though from nowhere two people collapsed spitting up blood and they both fell blind so uh you know maybe somebody in the comments can refresh my memory um uh, you know when i post this later but who's blind Who's blind and important like that? Uh, what is the Hour of Legends? So the Hour of Legends, I mean, I could assume that the Hour of Legends is going to be uh, the moment that Odin and the Nine Red Scabbards go to fight Kaido. And this is all in a flashback. So I'm assuming that this is when Kaido gets his scar. Um, but obviously, this, all, this whole thing ends with Odin losing and you know he he gets killed um odin gets turned into odin the soup they literally boil him alive so we're going to find out how that happened in this next chapter but why did okay another thing why did we get gecko moria you know gecko moria in in the second year since odin's return a battle broke out in ringo the Gecko Pirates versus Animal Kingdom Pirates. And it was during this time that the Grave of Ryuma was ransacked. So we know that Moria showed up two, year after Odin, two years after Odin showed up. He ransacked the grave. That's why he had Ryuma with him in Thriller Bark. And he was strong enough to fight Kaido and get away. And from what I've seen, it doesn't really seem like he was that injured in Thriller Bark. So you know that Gecko was really, really strong to be able to withstand that. Uh, Megaleon? I don't, I don't know what that is. I know I spelled that wrong. I don't know what you're talking about, bud. But, wow, man. What a... What a large amount of information and you know it just feels like like there's there's so much more it just feels like there is so much more 
uh, on the horizon. But quite frankly, I'm very satisfied. We got a lot of a lot of interesting progression for this flashback. Um, we we've learned that we all hate Orochi and can't wait to see him get what he deserves. I I'm really I'm really interested about this uh, Kurazumi Semimaru. Um, and I want to know why that name sounds so familiar. Like, why is that leaving me right now? Um, but he was the original barrier barrier. Um, oh, Magellan. Uh, yeah, Magellan, he's been away for a long time. Um, he's definitely not anywhere in, in this right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely very interested to see, uh, what they, what they, uh, do from this point on. Why did he dance every day, basically in nothing but a loincloth for three years, you know, rain, sun, and snow? Why? Why did he bring himself to that? And, you know, to read the paper as a gift. So Orochi gave the newspaper that read of Roger's execution as a gift to Odin. Why would he do that? Uh, I mean, there's, there's, there's so many, so many questions with so many answers. Uh, but look, and that's another, another point. I would like to build a number of new weapons factories here and I want your help, Odin, but Shogun, what of the ships, you know, with Kaido? And he looks at him and goes, what do you mean? And that's when he lost it. So I think maybe, maybe before I end this video, maybe the, the promise was as long as Odin makes a fool of himself, doesn't try to fight for the throne, they will promise to build enough ships to get people out of Wano to possibly save his own country from the, the factories that they are building and destroying this land that they are that they promised that they would actually build these ships to save his countrymen so he danced as a as a as a sacrifice for his pride so that they would have these ships built to save his people and after all this time when they finally go hey look we're going to become a weapons manufacturing plant he goes hey well what about the ships he goes what do you mean ah oh, man Ah uh, man, that's Orochi. Orochi needs to get his just desserts. I don't care who does it. You know, honestly, I, it's not going to be Momonosuke. Maybe uh, it's got to be one of the nine red scabbards. I wouldn't be satisfied unless if it's one of them. But Orochi's got to go. But that's it for me for for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much um, for subscribing if you're new if you haven't already i appreciate every last one of you guys uh you're all the best i i you know that's why i do it i appreciate every single last one of you and uh you know i look forward to the rest of what wano has to come so quite frankly uh that's it for me let me know if you guys have any theories thoughts anything that i might have missed answers to any questions uh the old man that was playing the the instrument um you know, maybe you guys have ideas as to what Odin was thinking, but uh, that's it for me. I appreciate it so much. Every last one of you guys. And, you know, I truly do mean that. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.